Alright, good day guys and welcome to another video. As you can see, we're in the car taking another trip. I'm heading down by an aunt of mine who lives in Cedras, which is almost at the end of Trinidad. Just past the Labre Pitch Lake, which is the biggest tar pit, asphalt pit in the world. guys here we are on the beach in Cedras this is namely a Bonaz village and it's a fishing village I have cousins seeing this dog here so I'm here these are my nieces and nephews and my sister is here cousins and we're taking a walk my aunt lives not too far a few houses away from the beach but there is so much family there it would be kind of chaotic to have it on video so I'm just going to show you guys the scenery here on the beach so yeah fishing boat check it out so we're going to go to that jetty we're seeing where is it over there yeah this is one of my nieces hi Ashley say hi Hi. how are you good good you seen yourself there on camera <laughs> <laughs> if you look out into the water you can hardly see it here but you can actually see a lot of the oil rigs and whatnot out there I'm going to zoom in and try to show you guys Alright, and we are by the jetty. We're going to go on it. Take a walk on the jetty. So it looks like a normal jetty, and it is. You know, actually, boats come in here, Venezuelans, and other people dock here. If you look behind me, you'll see a large kind of police building. There is customs and immigration there. We're in Cedras, and Cedras is at the tip of Trinidad. I'm going to put it on the map so you can see. So, very close to Venezuela. <laughs> so what do you guys think? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know why it's... Waiting. They look like a fish. A monkfish? So as I said, it's a jetty where the immigration and whatnot happens here and we were told by the Coast Guard we can't go out further so we're heading back. This is actually not the last step, it's very close. We're going to go down there now to Ikaka's Point. So, let's head down. Example of the amount of cars that came on this line to Cedras. All of these cars you see going on a line here. All the way to the back there. They all came on this trip. On our way down to Ikakas, you guys just saw us driving through the coconuts. I think it's Coconut Drive, but you can tell why they call it Coconut Drive, right? And now we're in the wetlands. This is the road, and look on both sides, swamp. They find a few anacondas here already, right? And here we are at the carcass point. Now take a look at the road. The road it used to actually go a bit further out. Mother Nature is taking it back. So check it out. We are at the tippy tippy end of Trinidad at this point. So here we are at the end of the world. Well, at the end of Trinidad at least. Look how beautiful and glassy that water is. Just amazing. See the coconut estate in the back. As I said, the road used to come running here and there used to be a lighthouse out there, I think. But all that got eroded away. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So seeing that we are at the end of Trinidad, Icacos Point. I remember coming here small and people saying, look Venezuela, I never took it on. Would you believe? That's it right behind me there. Take a look. That's it. Some something. The road. Chicken. So that landmass you're seeing in the back there, that is Venezuela as I mentioned. You can kind of understand seeing how close it is to Trinidad now. You know with the situation in Venezuela, we do have a Venezuelan refugee crisis. Venezuelans coming over into Trinidad seeking out better here. It's that close, that's why it's so easy for them to come over. So it's not that hard for them to get in a boat and come over. So we walked around the corner there that you're seeing in the beach and you're seeing the landmass just continuing. So yeah, we are that close to Venezuela. So that's it guys, this is E. Carcass Point. We're gonna get back in the car and head back to Cedras, Bonas Village. It was fantastic coming back here. I came here when I was really, really small. There was a tower we climbed up. We're not seeing any more of that anymore. in Columbus Bay. So in the coconut estate behind me, but Columbus Bay in Trinidad is known for these tree rock formations that they call the Tree Sisters. Are you seeing it in the back there? One, two, three. Let's go and get a closer look. Next beautiful location in Trinidad. Look at those nice coconut trees in the coconut estate behind me. The formation of the rocks, the tree sisters, this nice calm beach. It's just really nice. This trip to Trinidad, I must say, I did a lot of different things and I saw a good amount of Trinidad. There's a lot more to see that I didn't get a chance. Of course, it's a limited time, but trips like this made it worth it. Just a little short stop to see the Three Sisters on Columbus Bay, heading back to the car now. Alright, so we're back in Bonas Village here in Cedras. It's getting late and we have a long drive, so we're going to head out now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Me coming on Cedras, seeing Icacos Point on Columbus Bay. As usual, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey. Son, who will come with?